and that today is Veterans Day, I spent a little time today thinking about the sacrifice that so many men and women have made for this country, fighting for us, fighting for America, fighting for our prosperity, and ultimately so that so that we can have freedom. And I think, man, there are so many people that, that gave their lives so that we could live in this great U.S. of A. And I want to encourage you to maybe take some time today or at some point this week to stop and consider all the people that, people you don't even know, people I don't even know, that selfishly gave their lives for this country so that we could have the freedom we experience today. And as you think about that, I also want to encourage you that, you know, the Bible tells us of the one, Jesus Christ, who made the ultimate sacrifice, that he came to earth and because of our sins was willing to die in our place because our sins separate us from God. But he didn't want that separation and he longed for a relationship with us and to spend eternity with us in heaven. And so the Bible says that he gladly willingly died on a cross, gave his life for us, sacrificed so that we too could experience freedom. Not just freedom that we're talking about here in America, but ultimate freedom for for forever. Freedom from our past, from our sins, freedom from the hell that the Bible says we deserve. And the Bible says that that if we believe in our hearts that Jesus is who he says he is, if we confess that with our mouths, that that we will have a relationship with him and that nothing can change that and we will be given the freedom uh, that we don't deserve but that he's glad and willing to give to us because of his love for us. And so I want you to think about that some this week too, that as you consider uh, on this day, this week, uh, Veterans Day, the sacrifice that so many have made, that remember Jesus too made an ultimate sacrifice for you and for me so that we could experience the abundant life that the Bible talks about in John 10, 10 and have a forever freedom with him in heaven. Think about that. I hope you have a great day.